Well, what do you think about that, huh? Just uh, some tremendous, diverse technologies. Uh, even first time that some of our presenters here are seeing what the other uh, panelists have. So uh, I, I, th I think it really bodes well. The fact that we've just had four intake sessions starting in the month of January, and these are the kind of uh, gems of companies that uh, we're identifying. Maybe just to give you a, a quick summary from my vantage point, and again, from the context that I established out at the beginning, that our, our, our big goal here is to close those gaps and accelerate new technologies so that we can achieve the targets that the long-term targets that we're looking at. So if we take a look at the companies that presented today and let me organize it and walk through it uh, the way that the uh, state looks at using the, um, the loading order, you know, let's start first with energy efficiency. Uh, you saw one presentation you know, from Dana and Evolutionary Energy that, affect, that uh, addresses chillers. I mean, any building that has air conditioning, air conditioning, I mean, the chiller is the biggest energy hog. And here's a technology that two to three year paybacks, I, I, again, a no brainer that's ready to address that market. Um, uh, Correlate and Max, uh, 5.6 million buildings in the CNI uh, commercial industrial segment uh, that just don't have energy managers, don't have resources, don't have the expertise to address that. And they've got now an artificial intelligence energy manager solution to go after that. And then Phil, uh, and thanks to Phil for giving his broader vision of some of the challenges here. He didn't spend a lot of time talking about his specific uh, uh, products and services that Connectric Office uh, offers, but they specifically focus uh, on energy usage uh, and minimize energy usage in hotels, which are again a 24 seven uh, uh, operations of facilities, but uh, most of the time being vacant. Uh, and also, Phil's is the company I mentioned earlier. Uh, he didn't pat himself on the back by mentioning that they are the ones uh, that have received that first Tech Coast Angels investment, along with a broader investment tied into that. So that's just a look at three of the companies in energy efficiency. Uh, next, as you go up the loading order, is renewable energy. And between uh, Sujit Day's iGreen Energy, uh, you know, getting current solar, uh, solar and uh, energy storage, even getting more energy out of them, the most that, that's, more th that, that's possible. Uh, and then Hayden talking about Primo Wind, actual micro wind that's uh, uh, effective and, and commercially viable. You know, so again, supplementing our uh, renewable energy with uh, effective new technologies. Uh, and then as we get more new, new uh, renewable energy and more new energy storage and, and more new energy efficiency, of course, that leads to the distributed uh, energy resources and networks. And the other two companies that presented today, uh, or two of those other companies, Iteros and CleanSpark, uh, have these uh, uh, sophisticated software platforms that will do the distributed energy resource management uh, and then, again, making that transition from buildings and, and the other living environment to transportation. Uh, again, two very unique uh, models going after both the residential and commercial and fleet uh, EV market. And again, using vehicle to grid uh, to create virtual power plants. So, you know, combine all of those together and uh, you can see that, uh, you know, again, we are on a track to help accelerate commercialization of new technologies that will close that gap towards uh, what our long-term goals are. So very exciting here. Uh, and maybe one last hand for all the presenters. Uh, as far as our uh, San Diego Regional Energy Innovation Network goes, I told you our next intake session is going to be on May 4th. Uh, Alyssa Gutner-Davis, our project manager, and I uh, for the balance of April are going to be just doing a little tweaking of our uh, processes through the first four intake sessions. We've obviously had some key learnings, uh, so we're going to fine tune our intake process and some of our templates uh, to be prepared for the uh, next coming intake sessions. Uh, we've got about 16 other companies that have signed up on our portal. Uh, we'll be doing uh, reviewing their screening, uh, screening questionnaires. Uh, to ensure that they meet the criteria that we've outlined a little earlier uh, and then be making communications to them uh, for those that meet the criteria when their intake sessions will be scheduled. Uh, and, um, uh, and from there, I just want to thank all of you who've been involved so far 
in supporting our uh, launch of the Regional Energy Innovation Network, our own little startup here. Uh, thanks for supporting the uh, uh, entrepreneurs that are coming in. Uh, we look forward to others of you joining us. If you are an entrepreneur or know an entrepreneur that may benefit from this, uh, we ask you to steer them to our website, www.cleantechsandiego.org forward slash S-D-R-E-I-N. And with everybody's continued support, we hope to uh, help these uh, San Diego energy innovators uh, turn into some of San Diego's rainmakers. Thanks so much. Thanks, Marty.